Hi, it's Michael from GRTraining.com. Welcome to this another mini series video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create dashboard in Jira fast because this is really, really important. And it's still a surprise to me why people, even who are using Jira for a while, don't don't use the dashboards at all. All right, so we're going to talk today about how to create a new dashboard, how to change the layout, and how to add gadgets. So this is really, really quick video. So we, there will be no, uh, not a lot of details, of course. All right, so let's jump um, into my uh, Jira instance. All right, so in this presentation, I am using, again, Jira self-hosted, but doesn't really matter. My version is 7.3.6, 7 uh, but doesn't absolutely doesn't matter. Uh, dashboards are going to work exact same in the, in the cloud version. So um, so there's no difference between cloud and self-hosted version. Right. So um, let's just talk about uh, default dashboards. Probably, probably is going to look very similar to this one. So so if, you, if you're already using Jira or you're planning to use Jira, so the system dashboard, I've just copied actually the system dashboard, is, is looking very, very similar. Well, if of course, if you're just starting with Jira, if you don't have any issues, any project, obviously assigned to me will be empty. Yeah, and the activity stream again will be completely blank. But the rest it should look very, very similar. All right. So before we start, just to let you know, you need to have a permission to create dashboard. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming you're the admin or you have the permission. How do you know actually you 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 can create a dashboard or how how do you know I cannot create a dashboard because maybe that's the case. So obviously if you if you if you never actually create any new dashboards uh in Jira, you're not going to see those two buttons, yeah? They're going to they're going to appear after you we're going to create our first first dashboard. But otherwise you should see this this uh, special special actually button with the three dots. So of course you know the um, answer to my to, to second part of my questions can I can I create uh, a dashboard if I'm not the system administrator is if you cannot see the special actually um, button with three dots well that means you don't have a permission to create a dashboard and maybe that's the case because you know the, the permission in, in permissions in Jira are a very flexible and yes of course you know you can you can say no new dashboards for new users yeah and i and actually i've seen it before a few times okay but okay let's let's do it so I'm, I'm assuming you can you can see those three dots and you can create a dashboard or you are the uh, administrator right okay so how to do it just go back to the three dots and of course that's going to be very straightforward first option from the top in my case create dashboard all right so now again you know i can't stress this enough but name it please name it right from the beginning so do not name never actually name it something like dashboard one or one two three or xxxxx sometimes that's how people are calling because this is really important and believe me you're gonna create probably you're gonna create many many dashboards so you so it's just really good information for yourself and also you can share the dashboards with the other team members. So I'm not going to show you actually in this video how to do this. I've got another video dedicated about sharing, but it's super simple. And, and again, you know, if, you, if you're sharing dashboard with other teams, please name it right. So I can actually, I can say, oh, I've got already a few ones, but I say, let's say um, for a uh, new project now because you can have you can have multiple multiple dashboards in jira there is no limitation in this we've seen uh, last time with a larger organization they've got something like about 260 you know for for 10,000 uh jira installations it's it's a lot so that's why it can be lost very very easily right and always you know just put some description and now to make it life more difficult not easy not difficult well, I'm joking, of course, but um, let's just start from very blank one. Yeah, so so nothing's going to be there, so there will be no confusion. Okay, and I'm not going to talk about shares, but that's how you can actually do it. You can, you can share with group or with the project. All right, so what's going to happen next? I'm going to hit, of course, add button. And 
Now we've got our blank, a very, very, very blank uh, dashboard. There is no any gadget. So gadgets basically the, the dynamic element, elements on the dashboard. So before actually we start adding gadgets, we can decide, you know, maybe I don't really like the layout. Can I change it? Well, of course, the answer is yes, of course, you can change it. Um, maybe like this, you know, or maybe uh, like that, or maybe basically just a full screen. But again, you know, do not, do not worry about it. You can always change it later. So uh, I'm just gonna keep it by the default with the with the split, like a split screen. Okay, and now, you know, you can uh, hit the link, add new gadget right here, or basically go to the, to the button from the from the top right hand corner and that's how we're going to do it add gadget so all right this is actually also really interesting because if you are that will be a little bit maybe a little bit uh different when using self-hosted or uh Jira cloud version so because as you can see by the default we've got only two gadgets that's because you have to uh click the link load all of them load all the gadgets and as you can see because i've been practicing rehearsing before um is, is loading actually very very quickly so it's just like you know below one second but please 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 be aware especially with the self-hosted version which is sometimes slower i think that last year already improved that speed but sometimes it's slow and and to load all of them can take uh, like few seconds, like literally like even 10 seconds. I've seen it before and sometimes people actually doing it and wait would they wait like <laughs> two, three seconds, nothing's happening and they closing, they frustrating then and, and phoning me and say, oh, you've just told me to load all of them, but nothing's appearing. So yes, you have to be a little bit more patient. Okay, so in my, in my actually, mm, in my Jira installation, I've got 31, but that number can change, you know, because basically I have a, service desk i've got probably tempo installed over here so that number can go higher or lower all right so you can you can have like 60 if you're using some more plugins because every time when you're adding sometimes sometimes not every single time but sometimes when you're adding uh more uh, plugins to jira for instance tempo they adding additional like five or six pre-configured gadgets so basically now we've got a 31 and as you can see this is actually really really nice collection of them we can start configuring our own dashboard. And the answer is, well, so the question is, what's the right configuration? So there is no such uh, thing there. The right answer is there's no such thing because that's what is gonna work for you. So you need to experiment, you need to actually test it. So, uh, so, so you know, I'm gonna give you some, some advice. So basically I say, uh, activity stream, yes. You know, I'm not using Agile in this case, so yeah. Uh, I don't need that, but assigned to me, of course, you know, uh, every chart, yeah, why not? You know, I like, I like this actually, uh, graphs, which is, which is cool. And, you know, maybe favorite filters, why not? You know, saved filters, please watch my, uh, previous video about filter results because you can put your own, um, filter results on the dashboard is actually very, very important and, 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 and really, really great, great option uh okay what else well there are a few maybe pie chart and that's it so my um, i'm always advising you know do not do not go too crazy just like sometimes you're adding like everything and uh after that how you can read this so so just just like go you know just just do maybe two or three configure them go back and and add re-edit because you know that, that's what i told you there is no such thing like a perfect dashboard configuration and you should also uh keep coming back regularly like i say every you know month just review it the dashboard or every two weeks okay so now we can before we start configuring this is actually everything is plug um drag not plug and, drag and drop so you can move them so if you don't like you know you can actually take this gadget and move it on the right hand side so they, they this is this is really really cool all right so now before we uh yeah yeah i think before we actually save it you have to start configuring so now you know pie chart uh for instance pie chart yeah i'm gonna say for demo kanban and auto refresh every 15 minutes this is so also very very important because that's mean that just that single gadget will be will, will, they, they will, the jr will refresh it every 15 minutes so not whole page but 
but just the gadget. So I'm gonna save yes, and now as you can see, yeah, we've got really start actually appearing some really really nice uh, results. Same about the favorite filters, absolutely yes, no problem, and that activity stream update everything is absolutely fine with that. Uh, well, I'm not going to configure every single one, but now you know how to do this. And every single time when you've made a mistake or just want to just want to reconfigure it, just go to that um, arrow down and and just go for edit, and that's where you can change the settings. Of course, I'm also recommending to add some colors, you know, because you can. It looks a little bit better. There's just better visibility, so you can definitely. Uh, change the colors for that gadgets. So okay, I think that's that's really it for that video. Thank you very much uh, for watching. And if you would like to receive some updates or watch uh, more free videos training, please visit my website, which is uh, gr-training.com. Thank you very much. Bye.